Hello everyone, I'm here to share with you another excellent product that you you will need for your trading. Uh, this is a universal indicator that can be used by anyone if you like to do manual trading or if you like to automate your trade, you can use this. So this product will come with uh, a free indicator and also the actual EA that you will use. So simply put this indicator into the indicator folder and the EA into the expert folder. And then that's it for the installation part. So you close this out. And what you see on my chart is the indicator that are inside the free one, but you don't have to use that for your trading. So the EA, uh, once you have that in the right folder, just right click on anything, click refresh, and then you should now see the EA, UEA on your, under your navigator. And once you double click on it, you will see <coughs> uh, the inputs for the EA once you go into the input tab. So the EA has three mode uh, auto trade. So any indicator that you connected to it, it will start trading when uh, it gives a buy or sell signal. And signal only is for indicators that you have that doesn't have any signal. It doesn't send any notification or anything to you. It will send to your cell phone or mobile or anything that you want. And also, uh, uh, trade manager, that's the default settings. This is for manual trading. So if you put a trade on the chart, it will add stop loss, take profit, it will trail or do break even for you. So it will manage, you can just uh, put in the trade and walk away and the EA will take care of it for you. So uh, the default settings is uh, you have this indicator in here but you can remove this indicator and put the indicator that you want to use in there. And then, um, so as you go down, this has many options. So you can use one indicator, two indicators. You have three indicators that you can use uh, if you want to do auto trade, if you want to automate your trading with uh, an indicator that you have. So you can use one, the first one, and you can use a confirmation indicator. Another third confirmation, you got five of them. And also you can use another indicator to take your profit, uh, uh, stop loss, all the stuff is included in this. Uh, right now, uh, these are the default for it in pips. So take profit, stop loss, the default 20, 40, and then slip page and uh, the magic number and your lot sizes if you're doing auto trade and then you have your uh, days you like to trade and also the notification uh, so right now we're, we're gonna start with the trade manager so trade manager is simply uh, is for manual trading so if you put on the trade it will automatically add your stop loss take profit and if you have trailing stop and everything uh, enable so I'm gonna do a buy here do a buy and the EA add it stop loss take profit for me so now I'm in a trade now I can walk away and know that all my stop loss and take profit is already in place so uh, this was uh, 20 this is 40 to stop loss and then 20 to take profit and it's added for you and then that's it that's the trade manager so if you have uh, uh, the break even and all this stuff as the trade goes your way it will add and it will trail uh, your stop loss for you break even it will move it to in profit when it gets to a certain uh, place all right, so now if you would like to automate uh, your indicators that you have, uh, you need to make sure that your indicator has buffers. So the default one that I have is the one I'm gonna be using as an example of how to find a buffer if your indicator have one. If it doesn't have it, it won't trade. So if, I, uh, if you would like to use your indicator, make sure you change it to auto trade and then you put in the name of your indicator as it show up in your indicator folder and you type it in. So uh, I'm using RSI Crosser Free. That's the indicator that will be included with uh, this uh, EA. 
and then you find the buffers for the buy signal buffer and the sell signal buffer. So uh, how do you find those? Uh, those are pretty simple to find. So you go into your indicator and this is the indicator as you see on the chart and then you find the buffers. So the buffers, you can find it within the color and I can see I have my buy and sell arrows as white. So these are the white, the two that I have. So one for buy uh, and two for sale. But uh, some places you might not know. Uh, simplest way to do is just change the size of it. So if I don't know which one is a buy or sell, I can just go and just change it to five and click OK. And as you can see, the arrows got bigger, the buy arrows. So now you can tell that the buy is five, which is one, and then the sell. And you can do the same just to confirm. Click OK. And and again the same they both got bigger so you know now you're buy and sell so once you go into your uh, EA and you do you change to auto trade now you have one and two one for buy and two for sell it will be different for any uh, indicator that you use it won't be the same so once you uh, put the name of the indicator make sure you find the buffers and then put it in there if your indicator does not have a buffer it will not trade it so not every indicator have buffers so make sure your indicator that you use if you're not sure you can ask the developer what are the buffers for uh, for that indicator and they will be able to tell you so you can put in and trade so once the EA uh, have the buffers they generate also uh, if the signal coming you want it to start trading at the close bar or immediately as uh, the signal come in so you have those options and that apply to all the other indicators that you have so you can have one indicator for your signal another one you can put in for your confirmation another confirmation uh, and you have five five of those and you even have one to close your trades and uh, more features uh, in this uh, universal EA so uh, in a nutshell this is how you use it you find the buffers and then you click OK so once uh, an arrow appear a buy or sell uh, we should see a trade so I will uh, wait for it to kick in at least I'm on one minute time frame so it shouldn't take that long to get a signal and then we can see how both work All right, right now the settings that I have for this indicator to trade is I just got a signal uh, for a sale. So I'm going to wait uh, until the close of the candle before the Universal EA will kick in and start to trade. So it has a sale and then uh, based on the settings, it says wait till this, uh, the, ca the current candle close and then you start trading. So once it closed, we should see the EA kick in and we should see the comment UEA show up on the side. And this is all based on your uh, indicator. So uh, signal just come in and then there we go. We have the EA just started trading for using your indicator signal. So at a close of a candle and it started putting the trade for you. And if you have your break even and stop loss, everything, the EA will continue uh, to put that information on there. So uh, here, and it just closed because I have it to close based on opposite signal. So uh, when you go into your EA, hit cancel. Uh, when you go into your EA, this is what I have uh, closed on. Uh, close bar signal so when the signal comes wait till uh, that bar or that candle close before jumping into the trade and then uh, I have it to close on opposite signal so I started a sale and there was another one that came in so it closed that trade and again another one just came in for buy and you don't trade in one minute. This is just an example to show you how this works. So uh, this is how they indicate uh, this uh, EA works. You can put in an indicator 
and then it will start trading based on the signal that you feed it into it. So make sure your, again, your indicators has to have buffers. And to find a buffer is very easy. Uh, again, if you right click on your, in, uh, and go to your indicators and you go into the colors, you can find out which one uh, the arrows are. And this indicator that I'm using is one and two. So when I go to my EA, I'll put in the buffers as one and two, one for buy and two for sell and then the EA knows exactly what to do and uh, to start trading with the signal based on your condition so I say at a close of that bar then start trading wait when the signal come in don't start trading immediately wait till the close and then start trading and as you can see it waited and then it got in into it so this is how you will use your universal EA uh, it has three mode again uh, you can auto trade as we're doing right now by giving it any any uh, indicator that you like. As long as it has uh, a buffer, so you can trade with it and you can use as a signal only. So if your indicator does not send signals, as you saw it pop up, uh, it will send to your, uh, your phone or uh, your computer alert or email. And also you can use the trade manager. The trade manager uh, basically is for manual trading. Once you put a trade in, uh, again, I'm just gonna do uh, a sale. And as you can see, it just modify, put stop loss, take uh, profit. And then as it goes my way, it will start trailing and uh, or use break even based on my settings that I have in it. So this is a simple product, but yet very powerful that anyone can use for, uh, for trading uh, manual trading or to automate any indicator that you have that has buffers so check it out thank you